All right, so here I am on the Taijim Go server. I'm going to try to play a regular game of Go, i.e. Sandbagger series type Go, because uh, I'm only playing, I think, at 3 on. Yep. And unlike most games of recent memory where I've tried to do a challenge, I'm going to play a normal game where I'm going to try to over-explain every move, perhaps even occasionally invoke a colorful metaphor. Anyway, I need enough time setting for this to work, and I've also learned that playing on my Sandbagger account on Taijim means that everyone wants to play a super fast game. And so finding someone to play a slow enough game that will allow me the time to, with florid description, over-explain everything, might be the first challenge. So I'm going to pause the video. It might take me a while to find someone who's willing to play a slow game, and I'll restart the recording. The last few attempts at this have, have not gone well. The real challenge is finding someone to play who wants to play a slow game. All right, I think we got an opponent. And that's really exciting. My opponent opens 4-4. And when I'm playing white, I often want to keep the board a little more symmetrical. I don't want to play a cross game in this case just because uh, I think it'd be harder for me to explain, actually. I think I think if I'm going to over-explain every move, it'd be it's slightly easier for me to to not play a cross game. Maybe that's a cop-out. Uh, but I'm going to keep the board somewhat symmetrical. Not necessarily mirrored, but symmetrical. Uh, and that's because if the board is asymmetrical, that asymmetry should, unlike some super deep theoretical alien brain level, benefit the person who goes first. So I want to prevent that. Here, I'm going to respond to this move, not by uh, responding directly. AI has sort of shown us that it's okay. It's fine. We can we, we have we have Joseki to deal with double approach. Not the biggest problem in the world. Uh, and I'm still invoking sort of the traditional belief that approaching three four stones is more important than four four stones. So that's why I'm tanukiing here. Uh, here. So in this case, I am going to play robot style. <laughs> and I'm going to attempt to lean on this stone. And the robots have shown us that when white makes this shape... Whoa! Okay, my opponent's played a weird move. So we got to talk about this. Uh, let me go back to my original description. Which was, uh, the robots have shown us when we lean on Black's group this way, Black's corner actually isn't very big. And white is relatively safe. White has ways to, to secure a base or attack this stone later on. Um, traditionally, it was kind of thought this was bad for white. But white actually has a lot more flexibility in this particular position than we originally thought. Uh, so when your opponent plays a weird move... Um, there's a few things you have to think of. First of all, why didn't he play the correct move? In this case, I have no idea. And second, you should consider playing the correct move for him. <laughs> It'll probably be the first candidate move. The correct move for Black is here, is to continue just building out this way. Uh, since he didn't play it, I'm just going to turn. This turning shape is really valuable in Go. Uh, it, it's, it's super efficient in terms of liberties. Um, it's, it's just a really nice shape. Now here he's asking to connect. Um, you know, his stones here, which which is fine. I don't feel compelled to continue over here right now. Uh, I want to develop something else. I want to respond to this or develop this corner first. Um, but later on, I might play a move like this. And if he cuts, I could even consider extending or Atariing. Both of these are, are, you know, good things to do. Um, however, in this case, I'm reading out that if I cut, Black will play here, I'll play here, Black will Atari me here, and I'll be forced to take. And then he'll play here, and we'll get into this sort of weird co-thing. Um, so I, I really want to avoid that right now. I don't have enough information to start a giant co. And in the meantime, I'm happy actually taking the outside, because I can now play another move to develop this whole area. Uh, I'm going to play... I'm going to play the normal one. No, I really want to play this one, but... I'm going to play the normal one. Um, I now have some thickness, so this is developable for me in here. Any black stone that comes in here, as my opponent just so thoughtfully thoughtfully provided. Uh, I can I can essentially attack. I, Black can't make a base really all that easily in here. Um, so normally I'd want to push it towards the thickness. Uh, my thickness isn't super strong, so I'm not, I'm not <clears throat> you know, an over an overly anxious. It's not an automatic move. There's a chance I might want to make a base this, this way. Uh, in this case, I'm actually going to first ask my opponent, what he wants to do with this stone. Because he, he, I, I responded to this corner. I put two stones in this corner. He only put one. All right, so good. He's going to stand. That's great. I'm now going to attack with this move. And I've essentially created two weak groups for my opponent that he now has to figure out a way to deal with. Uh, this one stone here and this stick here. And as long as I keep these two groups separated, I'm going to have a good time. Uh, so I think... 
if I play here, he's very likely to jump out. I might be okay to jump out as well. It's not amazing, but I think it's fine. So let's let's continue. Again, I just want to make sure these two weak groups can't connect. That's such a core fundamental principle of Go. Oh, he's going to be very loose on this connection. Like, real loose. Leaving lots of holes, lots of gaps. The problem he has with this is that it, this stone doesn't actually connect to either stone. He's trying to do two things at once, and he's doing both kind of poorly. Um, also, when he jumps out two spaces, I feel a lot less pressure on this turned group right here. If he jumped out one space or even came here, I would, I would feel a lot more compelled to give it some help. Um, but I know there's defects here. So if he comes after this, I'm going to be able to wiggle around. I'm going to be okay. So for now, I'm going to focus my attention on, again, just keeping those two groups separated and letting my opponent just, just squirm. I mean, just let him, let him squirm around and see what sort of stuff I can, I can take for free. Uh, this is a very nice move. Uh, it's a five space extension from the corner. It's a one space jump from my weakest stone. Okay, he's asking if he can make a base. That's fine. Uh, I have I have ways I can I can cut this off, right? Essentially from from doing anything else. Uh, but in this case, it's still big, I guess, to prevent him from getting a base. Um, but I'm still very compelled to to <laughs> make him feel some heat from these weaknesses. Uh, so I think the first thing is, I'm just going to jump in between here. And if he wants, he might poke here and make a base. And that's okay. That's okay with me for now. Because then I'm going to start attacking these two on a very large scale. Okay, so he's getting a little worried. He's getting, he's getting a little bit worried here. Uh, we have some multiple ways we can cut this. Um... I have to do some reading. <laughs> this is what's happened. Now we're doing some reading. Uh, he's What he's really after is he's trying to get me to capture this stone and then come across the top and split these two. So I just need a nice creative way to prevent that from happening. And uh, I still, I, I have a couple, a couple opportunities um, to do so. Uh, I think I think I might let him cut me to take this cut here. So I'm going to aim at this cut. Um, the other sequence I kind of I kind of am bullheading, thinking myself, so I'm going to play this on the assumption he's going to cut, and play here on the assumption that he'll pull back. And then once he does that, I'm going to extend this stone, uh, probably this way. <laughs> and if you can see that, it's a very weak shape for me. I'm going to have two stones that are surrounded and just have one stone jumping out. But it'd be a very violent way to cut. I don't think we need to be that violent. I think I'm willing to accept some compromise here. So we will let him cut through here, and I'll take another cut here. And part of the reason for me, oh, he's going to do a interesting. Okay, my opponent didn't quite play the sequence. He was scared of the of being cut. I think in the way that I intended. Um, I could take this and fight a co. Um, but I'm not that interested in that. I'm actually, I th I'm thinking I can defend these three stones in the middle as cutting stones. And so we will just let him run this stone out. I'm going to get, a, I'm going to take all the forcing moves I can. Just to make my shape as perfect as possible. And say, okay, what are you now doing with these three stones? Okay, he's going to try to, he's going to try to hang. <laughs> There's a nice shape point here. This really prevents black from getting out. It does help my stick a little bit. Not as much as you might think since black can counter cut. Um, but there's a really nice shape point here. There's also a very nice shape point here and here. Um, both these are actually nice points. Uh, this one is perhaps a little more a little more safe, a little less greedy. Um, helps secure a base for this release starts to. Also threatens to cut off the one stone. Um, I think this is very reasonable. If I'm if I play this move, what I'm most scared of is this black group jump, this black group jumping out, and getting ahead of my stick. And all of a sudden, I'm kind of fighting a weak group versus weak group. And you know, over here, that's okay, um, but that might give him some opportunities to help out this black group. Uh, I don't think, and I still want to play this one. Like this still feels right. <laughs> I'm gonna play the outside first. <laughs> uh, I am I am leaning towards this just for 
like like I really wanted to just make a base and keep the game very simple again to keep my explanations somewhat clean <laughs> all right so he's going to jump out again he's got a weak group that's running I have a couple opportunities here the first is I can just threaten to make a base and this this type of move also um, starts to threaten to actually aim at this type of cut as well which I like I like that a lot uh, I might not even I can actually cut here directly um, this is just a giant, he just has holes in this shape. This is not really a good shape you want to make. I know um, you might you might find that without any white stones around, this is kind of connected for black. But with white stones around, it's really not. So in Go, if you don't know what move to play, the first thing you do is find the most violent move you can play and just see if it works. And if it works reasonably well, you should probably just play that. It's simple one move reading, or at least one move sequence reading. Uh, my biggest fear here, if I play here, is black's going to cut. I'm going to cut, then black is just going to Atari me down, and then come there again. Uh, I'm going to have to cut. He's going to push. It looks like I'm fine, actually. Like, it really... It's really hard for black to find a good sequence here. It looks like he's going to have to take advantage of this hole in order to get any sort of good result. This move just wasn't strong enough. Uh, I would expect something more like a, a, a jump if black wanted to get out and sort of shoulder hit the triangle uh, Really challenge it with a little bit stronger of a shape um, He might not want to play that because his intuition is telling him don't play too close to thickness. Okay, looks like we're gonna do it. <laughs> oh Okay, uh, so I have a choice here And this would be this would be a time <laughs> Uh, let's see. I do need to defend the stone, because if he nets it, then my objective is totally done. Um, I think in this case, I kind of like this move just because it has a nice shape follow-up against these two. So I'm just going to play that. My intuition says to play here, which is better for making a base, but at this point, I'm, I've pretty much decided we're just going to be running out. Uh... He's, he might test the water with cutting here first, yep. Um, in, in which case, I have time to cut. And I can just clean this whole thing up. Now, there are some problems with that. Um, but I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Um, the other option is I can just cut and fight here and force him. If I'm, if I'm going to cut here, I need to count the liberties. The sequence is pretty forced. Cut, black, Atari. Black has to connect. And essentially, black has one, two, three, four liberties because he he gets a he gets a, a move down here. Um, unfortunately, black has the ladder, so I do have to respond up here immediately after this cut, and he connects with this Atari. So um, black will actually get more liberties probably by playing here, in which case you'll have this liberty, this liberty, this liberty, this liberty, this liberty, and this liberty. I think that was six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, right off the bat, and threatening to make more. To me, it's more like seven, I guess. And this would be a very difficult fight for me to uh, to keep up with for seven liberties. Uh, so I think that's fine. I'm going to... Uh, I'm just going to separate. I'm just going to take my profit. I'm a little bit nervous about seven liberties. Now, he can still get seven liberties. He can still fight this way and get out. Um, but it's going to be a lot more challenging for him. Uh, um, when I can give up these three stones. Essentially, I don't need these three stones. They're very valuable to me. Um, but I've already, I already have my profit. As long as, you know, this little two-stone group has two liberties, I'm looking at a solid 25 points to 30 points on the right hand. And maybe that goes up to 40-ish, 35 to 40-ish, if I get the next move in the corner. Uh, you might ask, how do I know that? Well, I'm just estimating. <laughs> I know that from here to here is 20. Uh, just that, that this 10 lines in the third line. Uh, and I'm giving myself an extra 10-ish here, just eyeballing it. And maybe a little bit here and a little bit here if I get the next move in the corner for another 10. That's how I get up to 40. All right, here I'm very inclined to play here. Of course, he will Hane me. And uh, Hane, Hane is pretty bad, actually. <laughs> uh, I might not have time to Hane here. <laughs> But I do need to save these, so uh, let's let's get out. 
if he does get these three stones, it's not the end of the world. Um, it's, they are going to be a nuisance for him to capture. I'm going to make sure that I might get these two stones as a bonus. Like if he if he Hanes here, I could actually just net these two stones here with a move like this. Um, this move is good. It still has a little bit of a potential problem, uh, but it, for now it looks like it works. Uh, although actually, does it work? It doesn't really work, does it? No, it doesn't work at all. I have this move. I can I can cut on this side. Um, but before I do that, I want to make sure that these three stones are are safe, essentially. Um, so I'm going to give him an opportunity. He can he can finish the the sequence over here if he wants. Um, also, instead, I have a little bit of a shape problem. He can actually technically break out um, with these three stones with a net like this. But I still think it's correct to make this kind of shape in this case. Uh, Black's going to give me a lot of strength on the outside if he tries to run these out. Okay, so that move that move doesn't necessarily guarantee uh, his safety. So uh, I, I just need to make sure these these stones are captured. I could threaten here as well, but that'll give him sort of a little bit of tempo to fix. Um, although this actually also fix my, fixes my shape too. Like, this isn't a bad move. Uh, I need to read how severe this push is when I don't, when I... That's not actually that bad at all. <laughs> it's really not bad. So maybe this is best. This might be best. It's a little more aggressive. A move like this would really just clean it all up. Force White, or force him to really play another move over here. I guess it's not totally forced, but um, uh, so, so I have a lot of Aji, right? I can, I can play moves over here that will threaten to cut this stone off and just take the top or save the three stones. So I have, thing, I have, I have some, some things like that. Let's Hane. And I'm fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. These two stones really can't escape right now. And he'll play another move. Uh, so on this board, we've really just had this fight go on where I've given up... Ooh, okay. This move, I don't think is that good for him. This, this doesn't solve his problem. I have this, this little Tesuji right here. Um, where if I play here, he can only play here. Like, this is the only move to defend it. Which means that I can then take an Atari here, and uh, potentially play here. He will take an Atari back, uh, but then he's going to have a shape problem, right? So it's actually going to be very difficult for him to uh, keep these hemmed in. Like, these three these three stones have a lot of mischief. Uh, and if you can't see why this Tasuji works, why he has to play here... Uh, well, I mean, it's actually you know, it's, not even, it's not even real Tesuji anymore because I can actually capture all of them. Um, but you might say, no, it's a capturing race. Like, these two stones have three liberties, and I have three liberties. So if I play here, he just takes away liberty. But in that case, then I take this Atari, and they can't connect because it's a shortage of liberties. Anyway, uh, that's fine. I do want to make sure he can't make any large territories. Again, I've already got 30 points-ish in cash. I can continue building my side over here, which is probably not a bad idea. Um, one I'm increasingly fond of, actually. Uh, especially if I'm going to try to cut this stone off as I run these out. Um, but I do feel like this is kind of a important move. Um, I could also just take the corner. I could also play one of these attachments and just sort of direct the side I want to make a base. Uh, but I think this is fine. And actually, maybe this is maybe this is also bad ghost strategy. I, I might even should approach from the other side on the on the grounds that because I have something over here, this this whole area might be easier to invade later. And so that's something I do have to consider. Okay, um, I could leave this or make a base. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm I'm really tempted to leave it. Again, there's really not... I can't make a lot of points down here. Um, I'm going to go back and just 
make this very loose connection. And before you saw me kind of deride Black's connection, because uh, then you saw how he got cut off and lost these five stones, because like that connection's too thin. Granted, he got three, so it's really like he only lost two. Granted, mine are not dead yet. Keep that in mind. Um, but over here, I already have a little bit more strength on both sides. The cornerstones is a little bit stronger just because of its nature of being in the corner. And these two are stronger just because, number one, I have some Aji here to work with. And number two, there's two of them. So I already have, I'm in a little bit better position than, than he was. Uh, so here, uh, I'm not I'm not super attached to these two. I still will want to invade here later. Um, I have this invasion, which is potentially fun. <laughs> Um, I can also just play a move like this and just try to make some shape for myself. None of those are particularly tra attractive. Like, I really don't want to do any of those things. So, in that kind of scenario, uh, I think I just want to play the outside. Let's just see, let's just see what black will give me. Maybe I'll end up building something large on the upper left. Uh, I don't really know. I don't really know. I know I'm not really attached to these two. Um, so if black ends up killing them... Uh, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. On the grounds that I'm going to get something bigger on the top left. Oh, interesting. Okay. He's trying... He's He really wants to kill them. <laughs> what? Hmm. Okay. Uh, I have no idea where we're going with this. I have no idea. I'm just going to make some shape. Like, I'm, I'm just going to say, Hey, dude. Uh, you want those? That's great. What else can I have? Can I have your corner now? And just ask. Just asking very nicely. Actually, in this case, this is probably an overplay. <laughs> but I did want to make this exchange before I gave him a bunch of Aji over here. Alright, maybe, th maybe this is a bad timing. <laughs> uh, of course, my plan is to give these two up and just come down here. Mm. So, I can't quite live unless I have one other stone over here. That's fine. Okay, let's just play move. I'm just going to play a move like this. I don't know if that's the right spacing or distance from anything, but again, I'm really just saying, you know, you can have the bottom left. I'm not being greedy here. He's going to continue this fight. Interesting. Uh, that's fine. We will just keep our strength. My shape here is kind of bad. The stone really actually wants to be placed there now. Uh, make a little more of a mouth shape. But that's okay. We will, we will find a way to use it. We're just going to keep some pressure on... Uh, again... Uh, this move is very... A very fraught <laughs> connection, frail connection. Um, that's okay. He's going to aim at this Atari, which is his prerogative. And again, maybe that was one more reason to play this type of move rather than the Hane, but uh, that's fine. Um, I do kind of have to end up playing here no matter what I do. So let's just play there directly. And he will take a stone. Okay, and he did it very violently and very presumably with vigor and happiness or something. I don't know. Uh, I can play here. Okay. Does that work for you? I assume that it didn't, but, you know, who knows these days? <laughs> yeah, of course it doesn't work for him. Okay. Good talk. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know what he's doing. He's, like, we're, we're fighting over nothing. Right, I, I'm still connected. He hasn't disconnected me. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of a head scratcher here. Like we've done, we've 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 done, we've just played the last 15 moves of nothing. Um, where he try he tried to take advantage of the Aji here that was on the stone, or sorry, um, the stone that he captured. Um, but that's eventually all he got. He got a dumpling shape and a, and a stone. So really unfortunate. And meanwhile, I can capture these two stones whenever I want with this move. So, this group is actually super strong now, relatively speaking. Uh, we'll let him come out. I could play on the outside, uh, and that'd be fine. 
Oh, he's going to try this, though. Okay. Well, I'm just going to stay connected. Here I have a choice. I can I can take the outside and make him squirm on the inside, or I can fight uh, for... let him basically take the corner. I'm just going to give him the outside, or the, uh, the inside, and take the outside in this way. Oh, he's going to insist that this is a, a fight. This is really dangerous for him. Ooh, is that really a good co-threat? Because I'm just going to kill these two stones. I mean, this, this stone has value, but he's trying to get me to connect here. Like, he, like, this is a forcing move, but I can connect by killing, so I gain more just by doing this sort of exchange. That's fine, he'll take Ko. Okay. Uh, and this Ko is only going to get bigger and, and badder <laughs> as we go along here. Uh, because I'm soon going to play this move. <laughs> uh, I've, I've, got, I've still got this move in my back pocket. We have not forgotten about it. Um, actually, I should probably just play it right overtime now. Oh, I'm in overtime. Done. Damn. <laughs> 20 minutes goes by so quickly when your opponents only use... Five minutes of clock? <laughs> Damn opponents. Uh, okay. So that that one is okay. Like, that's still a co-threat. I hear you. <laughs> that's the best way to defend. It's probably just Atari. I think so. Okay, now we have this move, and we're just staying very calm here, like, there's no, there's no reason, we got a little bit of profit, okay, <laughs> okay, our opponent is very much insisting that this is a thing, okay, oh, I actually have this move, this is move is really interesting, um, because, yeah, this move's great, actually. <laughs> if he cuts, I'm gonna take an Atari, and then another Atari, and then essentially seal in. Oh my gosh, he's making the co bigger. What? This is, this is a little bit where your opponents might be self-destructing. Alright, he's just, he just said, I don't care what you do, this is what the entire game is about. Okay, that's that's pretty good co-threat. Okay, I'm I'm game. That's fine. I'm just gonna connect here. Are you gonna finish the co? No, he is not. That's fair. <laughs> so we back to co. Uh, I was trying to play such a patient game. <laughs> But alas, so I just have to come out here. You can sort of see what's already happening, that this, whatever stones he's putting in here are not healthy. Like, he's, he's really hanging himself. I'm very strong over here now. Granted, I'm weaker over here. Oh, okay. But he's really got to fight hard uh, to keep this, uh, like, he, like, <laughs> He can attack this shape, essentially, as his major asset. Um, also, this is not quite alive. <laughs> so, I'm going to ask for the corner. I can get stronger just by taking some corner points, and that's value. He can have that Atari. Okay, he's going to say, I would like to connect, but what about this group? I can get all the forcing moves against this group first. Uh, I can't tell if it's actually better for me to live in the corner or for me to disconnect yet. Nine, oh, Pio Yomi, seven, you're terrible. Six, get out of here. Five, four, three, two, uh, I really don't want to be in Pio Yomi yet. All right, if everybody connects, who wins? <laughs> Can we just play that game? Where everybody connects what they want to connect? It's a beautiful game. 
Oh yeah, definitely. Then I kill this. Then I kill this whole thing. Nine, eight, seven, so, six, five. Alright, let's play there. This group's gotta be pretty worried now. Okay, it's not actually that helpful. Alright, so he's connecting that. And this group actually only has one and a half eyes right now. He needs to find a second eye there. So he should be a little bit concerned. Uh, but now we set into motion this sequence. Which is fine. Like, we're all... We're all fine about this. I mean, he's not fine. He's, he's not He shouldn't be fine at all. <laughs> uh, I don't... Okay, I'll connect. Mm, okay. One more forcing move here. Ah, okay, so he's, so now we're going to Ko in the corner. He's figured out, oh, I'm killing him over here. Good job. <laughs> he finds that unacceptable. <laughs> um, I still have to start this Ko. But he has, he has multiple problems. Like, there are multiple, multiple problems here. Um, this move's actually kind of sente, too. Okay, so he's going to solve that problem first. This is his second problem. And this just looks dead to me. <laughs> how, how to live? I don't see it. Alright, let's just do the killing blow. This is also actually pretty big. Nine, this is really big. Eight, seven, six, Pushing five, there is not four, small. Alright, I'll give him one chance to live. <laughs> In part because... Okay, alright. He did not want to live. Can I live here with this? <clears throat> and practice doesn't even matter because this is bigger. Um, but I'm not even confident I see a way to live here. Let's just play a shape move. Eight, seven, six. And destroy his shape. I'm also threatening to not have to make eyes with this group, just, just take. Okay. So if I, after I play this move, I think the only... Pl oh no, he can cut now. He, can, he doesn't have to continue playing. He has this cut. So that seems fine. Can I play this? I can play this move, though. That's kind of dirty. Nine, eight... Seven. All right, let's play this one. So I'm trying to just make sure that my... I'm, I'm doing this proper. I should just exchange. Like in any game of Go, this is smaller than this. That. Okay. Um, so I should just finish this. Okay, so he's going to... Play that way. Seems reasonable. Because um, he still has this false eye potential, potentially right here. I don't know. Is that proper? <laughs> you just shorted yourself a liberty. Oh god. Oh, is he gonna he's gonna try to fix it by um whatever the hell he's doing? <laughs> what if I just play that dude? You gotta you gotta fix over here. I guess you don't have to, but Alright. Let's finish him. I'm still not convinced this move is absolutely necessary, but it it actually helps clean the corner, and apparently he's going to respond to it regardless, so. Uh, we have a dead group in Gote. <laughs> there is no way for him to make two eyes here. Here, is this a forcing move? Can he, can he take, can he prevent me from getting two eyes? This move, this move is the most promising. But Nine, that doesn't work. Eight, so... Seven, in conclusion, Three. let's just play this move. And this move gives him such a huge headache in the corner. Okay, so he's trying that. He's trying it. He's doing it. Oh, connecting is Sente too. I should do that. <laughs> I should totally connect. 
Oh, wait, is connecting Sente? Because he has... Yes, still Sente. Uh, is that even a thing? What? I, I think he died in Gotagen. <laughs> okay. Well, let's connect because it's free-ish. And I'm threatening to pop out the eye here. Oh, he's going berserk? What? What is happening? He's Oh, he's trying to make it a Seki. But that doesn't work. <laughs> uh, it's it's going to be one eye versus a big eye kind of situation. Nine, so eight, he can kind of collapse six, it, five, but not really. Four, so here, let's just kill this group <laughs> instead. That, that certainly looks like a bent four shape to me, and those are alive. Okay. All right, so, so that was better than most of my attempts at explaining moves. I feel like I did a pretty good job there, given the the uh, the time settings. Even Taijim, right? 20 minutes per side is such a long game. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I'll have to play another Ghost servers, I guess. I'll have to leave my beloved Taijim. Uh, I do like it be, just because the ranking system is so fluid, and uh, I kind of I like playing just on more on the Asian servers. Um, the American and English and Western servers, those are all fine too. Uh, but anyway, that's besides the point. Let's talk a little bit about where we left this game off just to figure out what was going on. I don't want to, no, I don't want to spend 50,000 T points on a thing. Can I not? How do you original preview? I thought I could estimate, I'll have to, all right, doesn't matter. Score doesn't matter. Uh, this is died. He he just didn't have the life and death skills to to recognize that, and then this is all dead as well. So you know, in the end, he killed this. Oh, I do want to show you guys the move I was aiming at down here, which is nope. Well, that's the wrong color. You know, let's give him another death by Gote move. Was this one, and this is a pretty interesting move uh, because there's this and then this follow up. And here, how does black kill? I think you have to play here. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe black can still kill this. Yeah, black can still kill this. All right, it's not as fun as I thought. Uh, but this tiger mouth in the corner shape uh, is actually really difficult for your opponent to kill. Sometimes uh, they have to they have to pop out the eye immediately. Which means if you get to if you can play a move like this, that threaten that that prevents black from linking up and threatens to link up, and black has to respond, then ooh baby, you are golden. So I guess I guess the problem here is black has this response, and I don't quite have another move that will threaten to link up. But actually, yeah. So this is this stone's one off. Uh, if we go back to the game, the move I needed to play was actually nope, this one. And that totally lives in the corner now. Uh, like black cast versus... Of course, in this case, this looks more threatening. I played the other one because I thought it was trickier. <laughs> uh, this one looks more threatening. So black will probably respond. But actually, that's still good enough. I think that still might be good enough. If this stone is strong and I can link back to that stone, this still uh, might give black problems. No, not really. I don't think so. Mm. Yeah, it's still not quite. I can't. I can't quite make it work. Hmm. Oh well. Um. Hmm. Okay. All right. Anyway, uh, just to review some things that I may have not gotten to talk about as much as I wanted to. Again, you can play this move. This is fine, but it's not. It's. It, feels bad as black, right? So down here I have the sequence like this. It's pretty exciting, <laughs> I gotta say. Black Hanes, black has this, and this. But then white cuts here. 
or alternatively uh, starts this co immediately. <laughs> And so this was the sequence I referenced earlier where I was like, I don't really want to do this right now because <laughs> it's a giant co. But that's the kind of Aji that was left. Um, and it gets pretty exciting. Uh, the ladder is good for me, by the way. So, so like, this is totally, totally just a regular co for a million points. Uh, maybe I should do it. Like, I, I, after this turn and, and this group is settled, uh, I totally had this opportunity to, to cut that off. Um, but did not. When, let's see. What's the timing of this? Yeah, after this I kind of stopped looking at it because I assumed black would have a little bit better Aji in here. So the sequence wouldn't work quite as well as I thought it would initially. Um, this was a major turning point. Right here, white's other option is just to sort of say, meh, make a base. Uh, and, just, and just treat it like a fair exchange where, you know, the corner is still invadable. Um, so this black corner is not big. Technically, black could invade white here as well, so I could play a little bit smaller and maybe tr threaten to expand, uh, but then black would expand, and eh, it's fine. It's it's all little stuff. Like, this, none of this feels that important right now. And so, which is why Tanuki, like, this area of the board feels like so much more interesting stuff's going on, because, uh, you know, oh, I can use, let's use triangles. Uh, these three stones, not dead yet. There's this cut for, oh, I can't mark blank places. So I have to letter it. Okay. I have this cut at A, um, this whole area around B, right? This is just underdeveloped for both players. The C area is very big. I have two stones that are a little bit weak. And so first one to play move there is very big and it's developable for both players. Technically, if, if black can attack these two stones, man, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit running from behind. Um, so, you know, one, one way to look at this part of the game is say, well, look, would I rather have to fight it out with these two stones or potentially sacrifice them, give them up, or would I rather fight my way out and or sacrifice these two stones? And for me, the answer is these two. Like, I, I'm, I'm fine with these two. Uh, this is really only... I guess it, there could be some white points here. Um, but again, because I have a group here already kind of nearby... It feels like I'm going to be able to invade this later. I'm going to be able to do stuff. And also, I have this cut at D, where I can slap at E. Like, black's not going to make this entire bottom the same way I made this almost entire right-hand side. Like, that's not going to happen. Um, just because I have too many friends nearby. So, in that case, I don't know. I'll have to ask the robot. But um, I think I was fine at Tanuki and, and, and take that top left-hand corner. So, anyway... Uh, this was kind of like a real go video, which I haven't done in a while since I've been doing all these challenge games. Uh, I do have some more challenges. I will do some more. You know, we'll 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 just we'll just roll with roll with it. Whatever, whatever. We'll try to we'll try to achieve balance, just like in Go. You know, you must you must balance your attack and your defense, your your uh, your strength and your weaknesses, your territory and your influence. Everything is just balanced, and so that's all we're doing this week. Thanks for watching.